Hi friends, I'm Uma Shankar Pandey and this is the Dr. USP channel. Giles Deleuze and Felix Guattari first coined the term assemblage and they meant that social systems are multiplicities rather than units. This concept of assemblage was expanded by Manuel de Landa to talk of the assemblage theory where he talks of social systems as composed of different units and these units are material and expressive so they could be algorithms and they could also be ideas and the manner in which these units interact is not always static it is dynamic social systems are ever evolving dynamic and interconnected let us see what is assemblage theory in this video we'll see that every collection of things or coming together of a collection of things is not assemblage. Assemblage is derived from the French word agentsment. An assemblage is a complex system composed of many different, often unrelated elements that come together to function as a whole. This concept does not emphasize traditional connections like family lineage or group structures the units of assemblage could be of different origins, forms and types. Assemblage thrives on the principle of collaboration and synergy. In simpler terms, traditionally groups are made up of parts that depend on each other so much that they can't exist separately. These parts are defined by their relationships within the group. On the other hand are different kinds of groups, assemblages where the parts are independent. In these assemblages, the parts can maintain their own identity and can leave one assemblage to join another, interacting in new ways. In an assemblage, the relationship and interaction between the disparate parts create something new and dynamic. An assemblage is more like a network where connections are formed through interactions influences and shared experiences. Thus, the assemblage's only unity is that of a co-functioning. It is a type of a symbiosis. Affiliations here are not important but alliances. The word assemblage in English fails to capture the meaning of the original agentsment. This French terms can be translated as arrangement in the sense of a working arrangement. It is an ongoing process rather than a static situation. It is the action of matching or fitting together a set of components or agents as well as to the result of such an action, an ensemble of parts that mesh together well. The focus is on two key ideas about the concept of assemblage. First, that the different pieces that make up an assemblage are varied in their type and origin. And second, that the assemblage actively forms connections between these pieces. To understand this, think of the difference between family relationships and friendships. Family relationships like those between siblings are essential to our identity. When two different families form a friendship or an alliance, this doesn't change who they are fundamentally. It's just a connection they've chosen to make. While family ties are intrinsic, alliances or friendships are extrinsic, adding to our relationships but not defining who we are. In an assemblage, the focus is on these extrinsic connections that bring together diverse parts without changing their essential nature. In assemblage theory, relations of exteriority refer to the connections between components within an assemblage that do not compromise the intrinsic properties of these components. While components interact and form relationships, they retain their fundamental characteristics and autonomy. Traditional views of social structures suggest that the identity of components is defined by their relationships within the system. Deleuze and Guattari use a series of oppositions including stratum, an assemblage to describe assemblage theory. A stratum can be seen in a closely bonded community where there are strict rules and norms and where breaking these norms can lead to punishment. An assemblage is more like a coalition of different communities 
such as those coming together for a social justice movement. However, Deleuze and Guattari also remind us that these oppositions can be transformed into one another. Deleuze and Guattari prefer to talk about assemblages in terms of becoming instead of being. A single assemblage can borrow from different strata and a stratum or element of a stratum can join others in functioning in a different assemblage. When studying social structures, we often wonder if we should view them as a rigid framework, that is a stratum, or as a flexible network, an assemblage. Sometimes the social group acts more like a stratum, rigid and structured, while at other times it behaves like an assemblage. Think of it like adding knobs or parameters to the concept of an assemblage, which we can adjust as the need to the concept of stratum or an assemblage. This approach helps us move away from seeing strata and assemblages as completely different things. Just like how water can be ice or liquid and sometimes a slushy mix of both, social groups can also shift between being structured as in a stratum and flexible as in an assemblage or even show characteristics of both at the same time. The parameters Territorialization refers to the process by which elements within an assemblage strengthen their connections, solidifying the structure and identity of the assemblage. It's akin to consolidating and fortifying relationships or functions within a system. Deterritorialization leads to a breakdown or transformation of the assemblage's previous structure giving rise to new forms. In a social context, deterritorialization might occur when a community is exposed to different cultures, leading to changes in its social norms and practices. In a technological context, it could refer to the integration of new technologies that disrupt traditional methods and practices. Deterritorialization introduces change, dynamism and flexibility to the assemblage. It allows the system to evolve and adapt to new conditions. Coding refers to the imposition of order or structure within an assemblage, akin to rules or norms that govern its components. The more despotic a state apparatus, for example, the more everything becomes coded – dress, food, manners, property, trade, etc. Decoding is the process that undermines or changes these rules, leading to a transformation of the assemblage. An assemblage is a stratum that has become decoded, one in which the value of the coding parameter is low. D. Lander emphasizes the dual nature of assemblages, comprising both material and expressive components. Material aspects refer to the physical elements, buildings, technology or human bodies, while expressive components encompass the intangible aspects, symbols, language or ideas. We need to look at these places and all the things in them as part of the whole picture. Unlike traditional theories that locate agency primarily in individuals or institutions, Delanda's approach distributes agency across the different components of an assemblage. This means that agency is not an attribute of any single element, but emerges from the interactions and relationships between various parts of the assemblage. The agency in an assemblage arises from synergies. Using the ideas of Deleuze and Guattari, we can view artificial intelligence in society as a complex mix of elements and actions. AI is not just a combination of humans, computers and businesses, but also a web of interactions and influences. It shapes our social reality, influencing how we imagine the future and our roles in it. AI affects tangible aspects of our lives. Its components work together to create real-life impacts. Society is made up of countless combination of assemblages, which are themselves composed of smaller assemblages. All these assemblages can directly influence each other. AI is an example of one such assemblage, existing within society and interacting with various other combinations, including those related to the economy, culture, social classes, identities and the natural environment.
To summarize, assemblage theory's fundamental idea is that there is no fixed and stable ontology for the social world. It is a way of thinking about the social world. Assemblage theory is a philosophical approach that considers social complexity through connectivity, fluidity and exchangeability. The central thesis is that human action requires complex socio-material interdependencies. Assemblages are relational arrangements of different entities linked together to form a new whole. They are characterized by relations of exteriority which implies a certain autonomy for component parts. Assemblage theory sees objects, ideas, processes and any other relevant factors as just as important in creating social situations as humans. Social reality is a phenomenological level created through social interaction. Thanks for staying along friends. As always, it was a delight having you here. I'll be back with another video very soon. Till then, have a great time.